Hey there, welcome back to the channel. If you have tooth decay or wanna know how to stop tooth decay in just one day, then this video is for you. So most people watching this video have had tooth decay during their lifetime and many even continue to do so. It just becomes so common as you age I don't think I know anybody that has grown up and gone through their life without having cavities of some type. Now this should be a massive red flag for anyone thinking about our modern society and what our diet is. Tooth decay is not normal. The cavemen didn't have tooth decay, none of our ancestors did. Tooth decay pretty much started when farming started, about 10,000 years ago. If you look at all the, the fossil history, you know, the, the bone records, there's just Tooth decay isn't a normal part of us being human, but it seems to be accepted this way. So a bit about myself, like I had tooth decay like, like so many others. About 10 years ago, I discovered what's called the paleo diet, which many of you probably know of. I also discovered the Western A. Price Foundation and the work of Western A. Price. If you don't know, he's this dentist that went around, this was quite a long time ago. He traveled around the world and he studied the diets of indigenous people and the amount of tooth decay these people had and there was a significant relation between the diet and tooth decay. Now this was of great interest to me because I didn't want my teeth to continue to decay because at that stage I was having probably one cavity every two years on average and you know something was seriously wrong to have that many cavities. So of course I looked into this and immediately I changed my diet. I started including in certain foods, started removing other certain foods and that's what I want to talk to you today about because I want to share this and I want you guys to stop your tooth decay. Nobody should ever have to suffer like this. So I'm going to go over three things that you need to do starting today and I guarantee that by tomorrow doing this you will notice a difference in your teeth, you'll notice sensitivity going away and in the following days you'll notice they're just feeling just stronger in general and just you can feel them that they're regenerating. So step number one. So the first and most important thing you need to do is eliminate grains from your diet completely. And I would even recommend eliminating all plant foods, but especially grains, nuts and seeds. Now grains and nuts and seeds are absolutely full of anti-nutrients. One of the biggest ones is phytic acid. Now phytic acid binds up with minerals and even though you might have a paper value of these minerals, you know, when you look in chronometer and all of these things, you might think that these grains have a high amount of a certain mineral, but like 80% or even more of this mineral is bound up as phytate within that grain. The phytic acid binds to these minerals. So when you consume these grains, you're not gonna get the minerals out. They also contain a lot of lectins, which not only inhibit protein absorption, but they also interfere with hormones and growth factors, and this alone can contribute to tooth decay. So that is by far the most important thing you need to do is remove these anti-nutrient foods from your body. I would start from bare bones to get rid of all plant foods, especially the ones I mentioned, because you're not going to be absorbing these important minerals your body needs to repair itself, including like calcium, phosphorus is a really big one. That's a major part of your teeth structure. Magnesium, iron, zinc, there's just so many minerals that you will not absorb by having these types of foods. So just quickly on sugar, sugar is obviously a no-brainer. You don't, shouldn't be consuming any sugar. I would cut out all carbohydrate completely in this first stage, even from more friendly sources such as sweet potato. Just cut it all out. You should be on a low-carb diet eating the sort of foods I'm going to recommend. Now, sugar obviously has all the health implications associated with it as well as the tooth decay. It's going to rob minerals from your body. So yeah, just cut it out. That's it. So now that you've taken out the damaging parts of your diet, we're on to number two, adding in high quality foods that are gonna mineralize your body and your teeth. Now the first thing you should be consuming is a high quality grass fed cheese. Get it raw if you can. Go out of your way, even if you have to pay the extra money, get raw cheese. You want the highest quality cheese you can. Now cheese, we all know from when we have growing up as kids, eat cheese for the calcium. That still holds true today. And while some people may disagree with how much calcium we need, if you are trying to repair your teeth, you need a lot of calcium. You need a thousand milligrams a day, even up to 2000 milligrams a day. But 
That said, this should not be supplemented. You should only be getting this calcium from animal sources, nowhere else. Now, cheese is a really easy to access source of concentrated, high quality animal calcium. Not only does it contain the calcium, but it contains the phosphorus. Phosphorus is a major mineral and it's not often talked about. A lot of people just talk about calcium. Phosphorus is really important. And conveniently, this is in good proportions in a product such as cheese. Cheese also contains some fatty acids, but this is not its primary purpose. It also contains high quality animal protein, but again, this is not the primary purpose of it. All of these factors are still really useful. That's why cheese to me in regards to tooth decay is a superfood. Now the vitamin K2 content of cheese is also very, very important. Now I think of vitamin K2 is like the, the, the conductor in the orchestra. He's gonna tell you where to put all of that calcium. That's really important and it's another reason we should be trusting these whole animal foods in such high quality because there's other cofactors. If you ate calcium on your own with no K2, it's not gonna do a very good job. If it's coming from plants, it's not gonna do that job at all. You will have actually problems from that. But having it from a high quality animal source like this cheese is gonna give you all of those factors. The more orange and darker cheese is, the higher the K2 content because the cows have been eating high quality pasture. So you should be focusing on a darker yellow raw organic grass fed cheese. The next food you need to be consuming regularly, even every day, is liver. Get the highest quality liver you can, chicken liver, beef liver, whatever you can get, the best quality liver you can find. Liver is a really high source of vitamin A and vitamin D, B12, iron. It really is a superfood. Now the vitamin A in the liver is really, really important. It's a fundamentally important vitamin for our body. Now coming from an animal source, it's in the form of retinol. You shouldn't be getting vitamin A from plants. It's just the beta carotene one. It's useless. It's not going to do anything. Maybe it'll turn your skin yellow, but that's not a good thing. You want to be getting it from animal foods and liver is one of the top sources. You'll also get vitamin D from liver. Now vitamin D is obviously known for helping calcium absorb into your body. So that works side by side with the cheese I'm recommending. So you're getting the calcium, phosphorus, the K2, the vitamin A, the vitamin D, they all work together to get that calcium where it belongs in your body. Another food you should be consuming, especially if you're not eating a lot of dairy, you should be consuming sardines, and I mean the whole sardine, bones, skin, everything. Canned sardines are okay. Try to get one that's as fresh as possible. I know canned is not fresh, but you know, just check the, the dates. Contact the supplier and find out how old they are because the, the longer they've been stored, the, the lower the nutrient content. However, nutrients like calcium and the minerals, they will hold stronger even if they've been preserved for an amount of time. So, you know, adding these sardines and, you know, obviously get fresh sardines if you can. I actually consume these myself. I buy fresh sardines and I just cook them really gently in some sort of beef fat and that the bones get all softened up and they're really easy to eat. They're delicious and it's just really easy to obtain. So it's really that simple. You need to cut out those grains and the anti-nutrients in plant foods. You need to add in the animal foods, the cheese, the liver, sardines, and that's it. Beyond that, all you really need to do is eat an animal-based diet, high quality animal foods. Go look in my video, carnivore top five tips, and I cover the, the types of foods you should be eating. All of these foods are really harmless to your body. They're not gonna interfere with your, your teeth quality, your body's functions. You're gonna get all the minerals and vitamins and nutrients that you need in a totally absorbable way. That's what the carnivore diet is all about. Now. You know, if, if you've seen my channel a bit, you know I'm not strict on the carnivore diet. But as far as tooth decay goes, you should be quite strict. You should be focusing on these foods I talked about. And then beyond that, just adding in the variety of animal foods that I've said. Add in lots of seafood. Get calcium and nutrients from lots of different sources. It's just going to make sure that you get a lot of trace minerals you might not be you not might be getting with, you know, a, a restrictive amount of foods. So add in that variety. And I guarantee by the next day, you're going to notice the difference. You'll feel your teeth getting less sensitive and getting stronger. It happens really fast. This happened to me as well when I was eating, you know, the normal Western diet and I switched to more of a carnivore, paleo and, you know, Western A price type of diet is that I noticed the next day in my teeth 
they just felt stronger and they the sensitivity was gone and by the way i haven't had one cavity since in the last 10 years and i'm 41 years old now and i think that's pretty good i've got a lot of my teeth that haven't had cavities at all and they have stopped they they have never had any decay on them and i definitely attribute this to my diet it is not a coincidence that i changed my diet when i was about 30 years old and since then i haven't had any cavities it's a fantastic thing you can do it so this is part of the reason i'm doing this channel i want to help you guys and improve your health tooth decay is just one of them the next i'm going to talk about fitness and staying fit and young as you get older you know i've been there i'm in my 40s now and i can definitely say that i've got a lot to to share with you guys so yeah don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i would love to hear your feedback if you've had tooth decay or sensitive teeth if you try my advice i would love to hear your comments how your teeth are feeling in the next few days so yeah thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe